This SUV with bloody handprints is where authorities say Francesco Frankie Boyd Cali tried to hide while being shot at least six times outside his house last night. Units responding to shots fired. Confirm male shot. The brazen crime caught on surveillance video, starting authorities say when Cali's SUV was rammed by a pickup truck. His car is involved in an accident with the individual that winds up shooting him. Cali police sources say was a leader in the Gambino crime family, left to die as a blue pickup truck fled. Mafia was in his DNA. Selwyn Rabb wrote about the New York underworld's five families. Does the nature of the murder tell you anything about who did it? Well, it tells you one thing. It was done so viciously that normally mob murders are done more quietly. A bullet in the back of the head. It's been more than three decades since the last mob boss was assassinated. Paul Castellano of the Gambino family, a hit organized by the flamboyant crime boss John Gotti, the so-called Dapper Don. Cali was the complete opposite, say workers at his Staten Island neighborhood deli. They didn't come in and say, I'm the boss of a mafia family. He came in and said, I want an egg sandwich. Cali's only mob-related conviction more than a decade ago for an extortion conspiracy. He served 16 months. What does Frank Callie's death mark? It marks, uh, Callie's death obviously marks the end of a, an era of peace and harmony. Now the question is, what does it start? Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.